your first share or fund, you may be wondering, how do I go about doing this? Well, the good news is that in Australia, we have access to a variety of different brokers. Today, I will demonstrate how to create an online brokerage account for the purpose of purchasing shares in Australia. Let's begin. The first step is that you'll need to be over the age of 18 and have an official document such as a passport, driver's license or birth certificate. If you've never had one of these documents or you've lost them, you need to go to the relevant website or office to get one before moving forward. You're also going to need to know what your tax file number is. If you already have a TFN and an official document, please feel free to skip to the second step later in the video. If you don't remember what your TFN is and you're a paid employee, it should be on your pay slips that your employer sends to you. If you still can't find it, you can make a fairly simple call to the Australian Tax Office and they will tell you over the phone. You will likely need several forms of ID to be successful here. If you've never had a TFN, you'll have to get one eventually, so you may as well take this video as a sign to get started with that process today. Moving on to step two. Great, now we have a piece of ID and a TFN, and now it might be time to go out and find a broker. If you think you'll be purchasing shares regularly in sizes exceeding $500 per trade, you may be ready for a traditional broker. If you're starting out with amounts smaller than that, you may find more benefit by starting out with a micro-investing platform such as Spaceship, Raise or Comsec Pocket, which allows trading in much smaller dollar values. Most people open a brokerage with whatever bank they use at the time. I think it's important to shop around because a brokerage connected to a bank tends to have much higher brokerage fees for trading, so I wouldn't recommend them generally. However, I'm not going to talk about who the cheapest broker is because it's a highly competitive market and the cheapest broker tends to change quite often. But I will say generally that Superhero, Think Markets and Self Wealth are known for their low fees, between $5 and $10 per trade. Depending on your investing style, however, you may need more than what a discounted broker has to offer. For example, if you want a day trade, you may want a broker that offers advanced charting features and an easy interface to read company announcements. You can always open a separate trading account with different brokers for free in the future, so it's not the end of the world if you decide you've outgrown the broker you choose from the beginning. Whoever you do decide to use, the process is always quite straightforward and consistent. I'll use Westpac's online share trading platform as an example and want to say out loud that I'm not affiliated in any way. Step three, all we have to do is just follow the prompts. We have all the information we need and we've chosen a broker, so now it's as simple as following the prompts and we'll have our application processed and accepted, usually within one business day. Once our account is live, we can now fund it with cash and we're ready to invest. Moving on to step four, we need to understand what kind of investor we are and have a plan before diving in. I can't emphasize enough that people starting out in investing are doing so because they've heard of a particular company through someone they know, perhaps an online forum, or maybe they have a loose idea of so-and-so happening for a particular company or industry, which might make the shares of that company valuable to own. Everyone has an agenda, which might not be aligned to yours, so it's best to not be exposed to other people's opinions and to recognize your own biases. It's important to realize that the market is always going to be there. You have plenty of time to prepare yourself, so do your research and take action on a rationally thought out plan rather than succumbing to FOMO. And finally, step five, you've funded your account and you're ready to buy. Taking this example off the Self Wealth platform, we open up a ticket here during market hours and open a live trade. We talk about the main types of orders in a separate video. If you purchase at market, it means it will fill your order at any price for the amount of dollars you apply for. I don't recommend this method as if it's a low liquidity stock, you could end up paying a lot more for your shares than you need to. The best way is to open up a limit order where you specify the exact price you're willing to pay for your shares. Generally, if you place a limit order at a few cents above the last traded price of the stock you want to buy, the whole order will usually be filled. There will be a confirmation that your order is filled if we go to the Manage Orders section, or it may appear as a notification immediately after confirming the trade. I'll leave a link to some of the sites I visited on this video in the description. And that's a summary of how we get started investing. Moving forward, we'll have a look at some more fundamental aspects to every brokerage platform. I hope this has been an informative video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.